Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm talking about the episode, The Thoroughbred. If you're enjoying these, please do like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. The Thoroughbred was an episode in season three, and it guest starred actress Kathleen Quinlan, who did this episode as Selena Linville and then returned in season four for the episode, The Collision. I'm a huge fan of Kathleen Quinlan's. It was really... Uh, really special to get to work with her. I didn't have a lot of scenes with her, but her career has been really extensive. And I mean, she was nominated for an Oscar for Apollo 13. She did the TV series Family Law. You know, she did some breakout movies that that I just thought her performances were brilliant. I never promised you a rose garden. One of my son's favorite movies when he was young was Zeus and Roxanne about a dog and a dolphin who become friends and although it wasn't what I'd call a major film. It was really sweet. And so her career and her filmography has really touched me a lot over the years. And, you know, here she was doing two episodes of The Waltons. Uh, Selena Linville was a fascinating character. She was well-to-do from a well-to-do family, and yet she wasn't a snob. In The Thoroughbred, she's more interested in John Boy than in the other young man who is oh so willing to let everybody know how prominent his family is and how much money they have. And she's just thoroughly un unimpressed by it, which said a lot about her character. And then she goes through quite a lot in the episode, The Collision, when she doesn't want to deal with the fact that her family has lost its money and things are going to change for her. And She's struggling with all of that and wanting to run away and wants John Boy to run away with her to, you know, to deal with the political issues around the world and whatnot and is really harping on him because he's not willing to drop everything and run away. And ultimately, she finds a way to come to terms with it. A really fun thing in this particular episode is since John Boy will be riding the mule blue in the race, he wants to be able to ride him with a saddle on, so he has to introduce that to the mule. And the mule is supposed to be just horrified, scared of the saddle, runs away. Well, the only thing that scared this mule was a camel. I'm not sure how the trainers knew that, but they brought a camel to the set that day and they hid it behind the barn. And when John Boy comes out with the saddle, they bring the camel out and the Mule freaks out and runs away. So I thought that was a very clever way to deal with that instant that they needed to create for the mule. I talked a little bit about that in the segment about the animals, but it bared repeating since this was the episode it actually was a part of. This episode touches a lot on the question of class and the hierarchy within a class system or a social system. In this case, John Boy's feeling very competitive with his classmate, Carl, and Carl is feeling very competitive about Selena, the character played by Kathleen Quinlan, because he's trying to use, Carl's trying to use his money to sort of sway Selena into dating him rather than John Boy, and is using that to make less of John Boy. He's riding a mule, and and John Boy very much feels that when Carl flaunts his, you know, prize thoroughbred and how much better that is. And he has this, he does have an awfully nice car that he drives. It is gorgeous. I have no idea what it, what it is, what this car is, but it was really a nice looking car, as was that horse. Being a horse person, I can really appreciate a nice looking horse when I see one, and that was indeed. Uh, so I was very jealous that I never got to ride that horse in this episode um, and in fact never really during this show got to ride a horse that was that you know impressive you know my, the horses I rode up in the mountains were they were good solid work horses but not flashy so <laughs> would have been fun to get on that nice flashy horse <laughs> A stunt work comes into play in an episode like this where you're dealing with a lot of horses and racing and things like that. I'm not sure exactly where and when, you know, different stunt riders were 
covering for the actors. Obviously, if you can see the actor's face, then you know that that's the actor. But in some of the longer shots where you can't tell, I am sure that the actor playing Carl and I know that Richard were both being doubled at times for that, just for safety reasons and stuff. So this particular point where John Boy falls off of Blue and into the mud, that was a stunt person who came up and took the fall, intercut then with this close-up of Richard actually in the mud. So there's an example of editing to accomplish the safety of the actor and also then being able to see the actor. This episode was directed by Harry Harris, who always seemed to get the episodes that involved animals, uh, but he dealt with them really well in this episode. There's obviously a lot going on with this race and with John Boy training for the race and all of the kids involved with preparing Blue for the race. So he would have had his hands full dealing with all of that. And I think he brought it together beautifully. Of course, there's a lot of squabbling. I love that the squabbling between Ben and Aaron, uh, that was not something that you saw as much of specifically. So here to see it is really cute. Mary Ellen has a little bit of a turn in this episode. Notice that uh, I have my hair in a bun. In season three, I started thinking that, well, Mary Ellen's getting a little bit more mature and there was probably a point where young women went from keeping their hair down to wearing it up. So I thought that would be appropriate. Then I don't remember if it was in this season or another season, I got tired of it being in a bun and started wearing it down again. And I know a lot of people have commented about some of the hairstyles on the, the men and the women, the boys and the girls. And yes, it's true that they did, for some reason, let us get away with a lot that wasn't particularly period. I think as the series went on, it became more lax. I don't know why, um, but you know, if we were not being told we had to be specifically period, then we weren't. And in some cases, I don't know that I could have told you exactly what it should have been, but I do know looking back that some of those very 80s hairdos were clearly not, period. So um, in this case, though, for a while, I, I wore the bun. And there were comments within this episode about how Mary Ellen seems to be more agreeable when asked to do something. She's like, yeah, sure. You know, she argues a little bit about uh, what she's going to do to be able to help John Boy. She wants to help with preparing Blue, but feels that everything's already been given to somebody. And, and he says, well, maybe you could make a, a saddle blanket. And she feels that she's not well equipped to do that because sewing is not her forte, but she agrees to let grandma help her. And she does a creditable job of it. When she's getting frustrated, grandma's very supportive and says that she'll get better with practice and admires you know, that she did a really good, solid job on it. And John Boy really appreciates it. So Mary Ellen has a little win there. And she has moments of being more mature. And somebody makes a comment about the change in her and says, you know, they like the new Mary Ellen and they hope she sticks around. <laughs> I recently came across this picture of me on Blue. And when I came across it, I didn't remember what episode it was from, when we might have been shooting that I had this picture taken. And when I watched The Thoroughbred again, I realized that it was taken on location up in Fraser Park during the filming of this episode, because clearly that's what I was wearing up by the tree when the horses and everybody circled around. This was uh, my hair in the bun and this is Fraser Park. So I now have the answer to where that picture was taken. So I thought I would share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed this segment about the episode, The Thoroughbred, and a little bit about Kathleen Quinlan. Please join me next time for more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more segments of Ask Judy. Thank you so much for watching.